What's good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. Chicago has been a city for nearly 200 years. It has produced some amazing people, institutions, and so many surprises waiting to be found around every corner. Today, we're gonna take you around the city and show you 10 of our favorite hidden gems, things to do, restaurants, and landmarks. Before we discover our first hidden gem, go ahead and finesse that like button and subscribe for more travel content. Hero Coffee Bar was founded in 2014 and four years later was purchased by Michelle Martinez and her partner Trey. They have a few locations around the city of Chicago, but my personal favorite is this hidden gem in a private alley just off Jackson. The alley is only nine feet wide, it's brick paved, and is known as Pickwick Place. It's easy to walk or drive right by this coffee place without even seeing it. This is my very first time visiting Hero Coffee Bar. Lewis has been here millions of times because his office used to be right around the corner. It is super fun being here, this almost a European kind of feel. The staff is extremely friendly, and most importantly, the drinks are out of this world. This Hero Coffee Bar is housed in one of the smallest and oldest buildings in all of downtown Chicago, on the site of a horse stable that burned in the Great Fire of 1871. Then it was home to Absent's Chop House, which I can only imagine was one of the dopest steak spots in all of the city. Today, it's home to Hero Coffee Bar. They roast all their beans locally, offer seasonal drinks. Marissa got the cozy sweater. I got a plain black coffee. It's their light roast and it's absolutely incredible. This is one of my favorite hidden gems in all of Chicago. Cheers. So now that we've had our morning coffee, it's time to search for the second hidden gem of the day. When people talk about hidden gems, they tend to say something is underground. Well, this hidden gem is literally underground and there are multiple ways to get to it. So that's part of the fun. There is a symbol that you need to look for that tells you you are on the right track. All right, so we're headed down to the next hidden gem of the day. Here we are. This is the Pedway, a true Chicago hidden gem. It dates back to the 1950s and is over five miles of underground tunnels connecting more than 50 buildings. Probably one of the best things to happen to the city of Chicago in the 1950s. There are shops down here, government buildings, little museum exhibits. It's a perfect way to avoid car traffic. If it's snowing, extremely cold, which we sometimes get here in Chicago. The Pedway is a perfect way to get around. One thing that I'd really love to see is for the city of Chicago to expand and improve upon the existing Pedway system. I think we can connect all of downtown. That would be phenomenal in my opinion. But let's keep exploring, come on. This took us right to the Marshall Field. <clears throat> Excuse me, Macy's. What's especially dope about the Pedway is that there are hidden gems within the hidden gem. Stores, a barber shop, not to mention some stained glass windows. I kind of feel like I'm playing The Legend of Zelda, but in my hometown of Chicago, there are secrets, hidden passageways. You gotta know where to look and have to have a mind for exploration, which is perfect for an urban environment like Chicago. So we've been walking around the Pedway now for about 30 to 40 minutes. I feel like you could spend all day here just exploring where the different paths lead. Look at there's some artwork here with Chance the Rapper. The Pedway is something that even locals don't use, although a lot do know about it. I guarantee you though, there's some people that live in Chicago that have never been in the Pedway and have never even heard of it. Okay, so we made it back above ground and now we're waiting for the bus to take us to Museum Campus, which is a historic park that has the Field Museum, Shedd Aquarium, Adler Planetarium, and the home of the Chicago Bears, at least for now, Soldier Field. Now, I don't know exactly where this hidden gem is, so it truly is hidden to me. And so I'm kind of hyped. You want to be on museum campus near Soldier Field, head toward the harbor, then walk south on the lakefront trail. This next hidden gem is a piece of ancient Rome right here in Chicago. This is the oldest publicly accessible architecture in the entire city and dates back to the time of Julius Caesar. It was actually brought here for the 1933 World's Fair. A lot of people know about the 1893 World's Fair, but the 1933 World's Fair was held right here on museum campus and Northerly Island. It's made of an ancient stone called breccia and was dismantled into 24 pieces loaded up into hydroplanes set up up in this spot and has not moved since. Now there is some controversy surrounding this landmark because it was a gift from Benito Mussolini. But in my opinion, maybe it was one of those cases where we should have shot the messenger.
We have stumbled upon our next hidden gems, the cosmic ray detectors. There are two battered white objects and a large yellow container. What's in that yellow container, you might ask? Well, it has the remains of the Chicago egg, which flew on the space shuttle Challenger. This thing was in space and it's just sitting here in Chicago. How dope is that? The two white objects behind me were attached to balloons and flown all the way to the top as near to space as they could get. This is the work of University of Chicago professors and researchers, an amazing part of Chicago's history. You don't need to pay an admission fee. All you need to do is come into this alley near the University of Chicago School of Medicine. Never in my life did I think that I would ever get to see something like this. These things actually went to space? How cool is it that I actually could touch it? That's how close I am. The cosmic ray detectors are such a hidden gem that they're tucked away in a small alley. Kind of like how we were having coffee earlier this morning. It's hidden. There aren't any signs. It's just basically right here in plain sight if you go look for it. <laughs> When you think about art museums in Chicago, the Art Institute is what's gonna come to mind first. After that, the Museum of Contemporary Art. And both of those museums are great and worthy of multiple visits. But if you want something a little bit off the beaten path, check out the Smart Museum of Art. They've been around since 1974, tucked away right here on the University of Chicago campus. You don't have to be a student to visit, it's completely free and open to the public. Their exhibits really shine a light on social issues that are pressing in our current day. And because of current events, they've actually been closed, so this is our first opportunity to visit. I'm so hyped, let's go inside and see what they got. of this museum is so beautiful and tucked away in this courtyard is an outdoor sculpture garden. It's kind of like you're getting two hidden gems for the price of one. Woolly Mammoth is a crazy unique vintage store in the Andersonville neighborhood on Foster and Clark. It's basically part museum and part store. They have everything in there from skeletons and bones to preserved fish and frogs, anatomy charts, a King Kong prop from a movie premiere in Milwaukee in 1976. I got myself a Nice, cool, unique t-shirt. These are the types of shops that make Chicago what it is. It's a small shop of oddities that feels like it's been in the community for 60, 70 years, but actually they opened 11 years ago, which I found pretty surprising. In any case, I could definitely say that Woolly Mammoth will be a destination of mine for many years to come. Woolly Mammoth is a hidden gem because you wouldn't ordinarily find it, unless you were shopping for a taxidermy peacock or an Egyptian door knocker. Lewis got that t-shirt, but I think I might steal it. Rose Hill Cemetery dates all the way back to 1859, and just like Graceland, it's a traditional Victorian style cemetery. But that's not what we want to talk about today. The hidden gem on our list is the Entry Gate, designed by architect William W. Boynton, who's the most prominent Chicago architect you've never heard of, because he doesn't really get mentioned along the likes of Burnham Root, Adler Sullivan. He designed the old Board of Trade building, many buildings that got destroyed in the Great Fire of 1871, and most famously, the Chicago Water Tower. This Entry Gate is designed in the same castellated Gothic style, built from the same Joliet at limestone and predates the water tower by five years. The architect Boynton himself is buried in this cemetery along with John G. Shedd of the Shedd Aquarium and Richard Sears who founded Sears Roebuck and Company. Completely off the beaten path. If you are interested in Chicago architecture, history, this is definitely a must see. Just make sure you're not in the cemetery after five because you will be locked in. I never knew that something like this existed in the city. Basically, the water tower and the waterworks were the sequel to this structure behind me. D'Amato's is an authentic Italian bakery and sandwich shop on 1124 West Grand Avenue. The founders came here from Italy in 1961 and founded this in 1970. Across the street is their wholesale bakery. Inside, they've got Italian music playing. You can get Italian cookies, pastries, sandwiches, and even tavern-style pizza. It is cash only, so just keep that in mind. No credit cards, no Apple Pay, none of that stuff. This is as old school as you can get in Chicago. It's nice to see these old school type of places still surviving. Why is D'Amato's a hidden gem? Well, because I've never seen a TikTok influencer talk about it but check out that Italian sub plenty to talk about there mm. Wow this is one of the perks of being a Chicago youtubers girlfriend 
Once upon a time, Chicago was hog butcher for the world. For decades, more meat was processed right here than in anywhere else in the world. The Union stockyards were around for about 100 years, but most of it has been wiped off the face of the earth, except for the Union Stockyards Gate. This is one of the only structures remaining from the heyday when cows, pigs, and other animals were processed and sent all over the country. The Union Stockyards Gate was designed by John Wellborn Root, one of his earliest commissions and built around 1875. It is now a National Historic Landmark. Every year, millions of people take pictures with the bean, but I say come here, get a little bit of meat, and make the bean your side dish. A lot of people know Revolution, Goose Island, places like that, but... Mars Brewing Company was founded in 2013 right here in Chicago. In 2018, they moved into this facility here in McKinley Park. They're known for their deliciously refreshing craft brews, but more importantly, Mars gives back to the community from where it came. We have reservations to get some amazing craft beer, but first, let's play some arcade games. I definitely think it's a place that you should check out. Tell them Louis Gusto sent you. <laughs> Let us know if you want to see more hidden gems of Chicago, but we out of here. Peace and blessings.